Greetings, wonderful well-beings, wonderful well-beings. You dig? <laughs> I'm Key. Welcome my, back to my channel, guys. I appreciate you guys for coming through today. Yo, before I start, I want to say, anybody want to collab with me? Like, that'd be totally dope. Like, reach out. My email in the description box. If anybody want to collab, talking about, you know, just some uplifting videos or whatever you know just name the topic pretty much i could talk about a lot of stuff just name the topic you feel me and just like send it to me in an email and like you know let's let's do something let's get it cracking like i'm totally open to it but anyway <laughs> pretty much what we're talking about the question is the like things to do when waiting for your breakthrough to come pretty much like how do you prepare like what you know just that 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 moment that that moment in the tunnel that dark tunnel you see the light you see the light at the end but you ain't there yet you just in the tunnel and it's dark and it's kind of scary in there and you don't know what to do you you can't really see what's going on <laughs> so like this this um video is pretty much about you know talking about things to do while going through that process you know in the darkness and just not really knowing you, you know what's next and everything because i'm sure we've all you know gone through it and i definitely just went through it um while i was living in my car for 10 months so yeah and i just recently like not even two weeks ago got into a place and yeah so i just want to shed a little light on what i did and how you know how i got here pretty much and really all i could say <laughs> is one thing is having faith having total complete faith because even in those days where me living in my car i i just had faith like i knew everything was going on for a reason i knew that i was like in that position for a reason i knew that it was going to help me grow i just saw it as a part of like my process of growing and i just I never, I did, of course, I had bad days. I had depressed days where I was down and I didn't feel like, like, you know, I felt confused. But overall, like, I knew it was for a reason. I knew, you know, there was, there was gonna be something after that. You know, there was gonna be a light at the end of the tunnel. And so I just had to stay as positive as possible and, like, had total faith that, like, that things would look up. <laughs> and um, I didn't, I didn't see it as like a horrible thing, you know? I didn't see like me living in my car. A lot of people might see it as like, girl, you on hard times. Like, <laughs> you need help, ma'am. Somebody call the police. She's not okay. No, psychiatrist, somebody, please get her. But, um, <laughs> but I, I just really, the whole time I just felt like it was like a, like a learning experience, like something I had to go through and and I was so thankful. That's another one. Like I was super thankful for just being in that position to be able to like experience that experience. I felt safe, honestly. And I think that's a big part of it too. Just, just having faith and knowing that you're safe. You're safe. You're safe. <laughs> your mind is safe. Your body is safe. Your, your, your spirit is safe. Like you're, you're safe. Just, just feeling just protected and whole and just feeling like just knowing everything is going to be okay just having faith you know and um and i think that's what got me here to just manifest what i wanted just staying positive and having faith and also this is pretty much the big one the biggest one i feel and everybody talks about it law of attraction all that which is like feeling like you already have it already like just feeling like whatever it is that you want to manifest or whatever just just feeling like you're already there and that's really how i felt even though it was kind of unintentionally i just stay positive and thankful every single day and i and i was living like you would think that <laughs> you would think that i was <laughs> on top of the world because i was just living so i felt so free i felt so good i was so happy for mo for the most part I, I was so happy and it was like <laughs> The things that I was, the visions that I was having, the thoughts and the things that I was um, wanting to manifest in my head came faster. Like they manifested because for the most part, I just, I stay positive about, about life in the present moment where when I was in that present moment, I was just 
living life in the present moment, just being thankful. Like you would, you would have thought I was a millionaire around that. <laughs> like I just stay so thankful, and I think that's that's the magic. Just feeling like you already have it already, and I know it, it could be hard, and you know, certain situations, hard situations, you could just feel like you don't you don't want to be happy. I, I I totally understand. You don't want to like. But that's, that's the way, I'm telling you, you just gotta be thankful, but like gratitude, like look, looking around and knowing that everything, you know, things could always be worse and just being grateful for what you have and just knowing that whatever it is that you want, you can have and knowing that you deserve it, you know? And yeah, that's really what I think is the most important about just while you're waiting in that dark time, or not even dark time, just that, let's not, let's not call it dark, it's not ugly. Let's not put an ugly name on it. Well, they, they, they say dark is like this ugly thing, but really it's not, it's, it's really not, it's really beautiful if you really look at it. It's just like, it's, it's a growth, you know? It's just like, when you come out of it especially, it's beautiful, but it's, it's like always gonna be there. It's like dark and light, it's like, it's a balance. We need both and both are always going to be there. But just know that, you know, the dark times are the <laughs> those times where it's not so great or you don't feel so good about life or where it's going and you confuse. Just just have faith and know that those are things that are helping you grow and, you know, it's a transition and you have to it's it's a it's a time of transformation pretty much. And you have to like like the butterfly that goes in the cocoon. You feel me? Like he up there in that tree sitting in that cocoon and he's like, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on in here? And then he comes out as a beautiful butterfly, you know? Just come on, guys. That's you. Come on. Nah, <laughs> I'm just playing. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, just have faith and know it's a part of the process and love yourself, baby. Love yourself. Love yourself through it all, you feel me? You got to love yourself. Now I wanna look at the now I wanna look at the camera when I've been looking away the whole time, but nah. Love yourself guys and just like have faith and man, stay strong because those days are always gonna happen. They're they're for growth and it's testing times, but you'll make it through. Like every ending is a new beginning and Everything shall pass. Everything will shall be renewed. Seasons change. You feel me? So yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. That's pretty much all I gotta say. I, I made my video kind of long, but I just wanted to speak on that and ho hopefully uplift some people. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Also, something that I think that's very important is just being clear about what you want. This is something that I had to learn. Like just being clear about what you want you know because the universe will get confused you feel me it's like i don't know what you want you saying you want this you saying you want that because i i was confused myself a little bit because at first you know i was doing the car living for 10 months so i was like maybe i could do this i was thinking about yeah like if i get a van like put a little mattress in the back i'd be good travel the world be in here like we chilling but <laughs> but really like I, I kept going between that and like having a home because i wanted to be in a place and have a bed and things like that and like have a home and have a kitchen to cook in so i was like going between both so i finally got clear like i finally got clear because i knew you know <laughs> i knew i had to i just had to get like clear on what i wanted and so that's when i really started asking like the universe like this is what i want i want a place i want it fully furnished i want to be able to pay like i i, I was very uh detailed too i said i wanted to be i wanted to be able to pay like a few months or a year <laughs> up in rent i just i just threw it out there but <laughs> these are things that i focused on for the last like few months that i was uh, that i was living in my car and so, yeah, you have to be really clear about what you want. Like, can't be confused. You just kind of got to, you got to choose one. Not kind of, you do. <laughs> you just have to choose, get solid about what you want, make it detail. You can even write it down. You feel me? Just, you know, have to get clear about that. So, yeah, that's definitely one as well. Just being clear on what you want and you got to ask for it and feel like you deserve it, you know? So, yeah, that is all, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching and you already know. We win in wellness, crowns on. Put your crowns on, you feel me? And I'll see you guys in my next video. You guys take care of yourself.
Peace.